Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to burn records from database into a web grid using without entity framework. And here we got the final output. Notice the employee table is binded in the web grid with the pagination without using entity framework. Let's check the table also. And this is the employee table if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before creating a mvc project first we'll check the table and the column names the table name is the employee table which contains four columns id name email and salary into i want to bind this table into web grid without using entity framework let's start the programming part for this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Binding Web Grid. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm choosing MVC4. Click OK. And the MVC project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm creating a new model class in this models folder. Right click the models. Add class. The class name I'm giving EMP class, click add. And here we got the EMP class. Now in this class, I'm creating a public properties. Public int id get set public string. I have four columns, name, email, and salary. I'm creating four public properties, name, get set email and the last one is a salary notice here the salary property is a string type because when I created the employee table the salary data type I have declared the string so after adding the public properties switch to the solution explorer I'm creating a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty, add the controller name is employee, the controller name, add. Now in this controller, I'm adding the namespaces using the first namespace I'm adding MVC binding web grid dot models the second namespace i'm adding the data namespace using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client and the last one using system dot configuration after adding the models and sql server namespaces the next thing i am adding the sql server database into this data connections right click the data connections add connection I'm adding server name user. After adding SQL server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB, test connection, succeeded, okay, okay. And here the sample DB database is added under data connections. Now we need the data source of this sample DB. Right click the sample db.dbo, go to properties. And here the properties, connection string, the data source, copy that one, open solution explorer, come to the bottom, web.config file, open that one. In the web.config file, notice the connection strings, which is the default one. So I'm adding my new connection string of SQL server, add name is equals to my connection, connection string, data source provider name 
system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, switch to the controller again. Now in the action result index, and this action result index is a get method. So we are retrieving the data from the database. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings but when double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding main con string SQL query is equals to the SQL query here is a select statement select stop from the table name is dbo.employee table copy this one paste here SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is a SQL query and the second one is a SQL connection object com Let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method and close the connection string close method. Now between this SQL open and close connection, SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter SQL com data set DS is equals to new data set. SDA dot I'm filling data with the data set object. Now after that, I'm adding a list class to collect the, all the employee details list. Here I'm adding the AMP class, EMP class. I'm creating the object LEMP is equals to new list EMP class. For each data row dr in ds dot tables which takes the integer value zero dot rows property. Now I am adding the collection of employee details into this lemp list object lemp dot add method new. I'm adding EMP class now I'm adding the properties of the EMP class ID is equals to DR between double quotes I'm adding the column name of the employee table which is the ID copy this one and paste here comma Notice we got an error here. Cannot implicitly convert type object to end. So let's typecast this one. Convert dot to end thirty two. Name is equals to convert dot to string dr. Between double quotes, I am adding the name column name. Let's copy this one. The third property is the email. The column name also email. And the last one is a salary is equals to convert dot to string dr. Between double quotes, I am adding the column name salary. That's it. In the return view, I am adding the list object LEMP. Now we need the view page for this index action result. Highlight the index, right click, add view. The view name is index only and the template I am choosing empty without model.
okay and here we got the index view page also the first thing i'm adding in the index view page at modal i enumerable now in this enumerable i'm adding the the project name mvc binding web grid models copy this one and paste here dot the model name is a emp class and the view back title i'm changing to employee details i'm creating an object for the web grid web grid grid is equals to new web grid the parameters i'm adding model comma rows per page i want to display five i'm adding center tag h1 i'm deleting the header tag index how to bind data from database into web grid h2 without using entity framework horizontal line after the horizontal line at grid the object of the web grid dot get html I'm adding the properties of the web grid like first text, previous text, last and next text. First I'm adding more colon web grid pager models colon all. First text. The first text I want to display the pagination to the web grid control between double quotes. first previous text previous next text next last text last I'll add this arrow after the next and this one also double arrows after the last here I got an error it's not colon it's dot call now I'm adding the table columns to this grid columns colon new array grid dot column between double quotes i am adding the column name id comma grid dot column between double quotes i am adding name grid dot column between double quotes i am adding the email the last column name grid dot column salary that's it we have done the complete coding part but before run this application the main important we need to change the route.config file app underscore start expand that one route config.cs open that one notice the controller name is a home which is a default one i'm deleting that one our controller name is the employee controller copy this one i'm adding the employee name the controller name and the action result is the index only which is this one that's it let's check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output notice the employee table is binded in the web grid with the pagination without using entity framework let's check the table also and this is the employee table 
that's it